He ate my food. Then he ran off to another well, table. Get your breath first. You, you guys ready for the, tr the tree, the tree house? Um, so the bridge is over there, huh? Please, he take a rest. Then you pay attention. <laughs> Please come, 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 come. Bata? Bata. Get it everywhere. Very good. Okay, okay, please, you come then you listen to the history. Okay. What they do for climbing a hill of 250 meters. We are done with the climbing. The rest is the normal walk before you get to the canopy. Where we came from is the secondary forest. Here is the boundary line. Here is something is the boundary line. Separating secondary forest from the primary forest. Here is the typical forest. Since creation, nothing has done in before. It's virgin forest. But right here cultivation farming activities as I knew before. This, this forest is caseted in the year 1931. That's the year that this place was officially caseted to become the national park. The size of this forest is 360 kilometers square. That's the size. Talking about animals, 70% of the animals that they live here are nocturnal. They find it difficult to come out in a day like this. The 30 percent that they also come out in a day like this because of the noise that it do happen here every morning, evening, a busy place. So we'll scare the animals away deep inside the forest. So here you do animal viewing. The tour guide will take you through the secondary forest. That's the only opportunity that you will see animals. While here. If you are lucky, you will see animals like monkey, bongos, dikes. If you are lucky, that one, bongos, mongoose. That one, you only see them in the evening or afternoon or early morning because that time here yeah, is very quiet, so you just come out. But when it starts like knowing they hear some noise, then they move deep inside the forest. And talking about animals, we have 250 elephant species in this forest. We have 600 butterfly species in this forest. We have 300 bears species in this forest. We have bungles, dikes, and many more. Because we are not doing animal viewing, I would like to end there so that I will throw more light on where we are going. The canopy walkway was constructed in the year 1994, official open in the year 1995. With eight people, two Canadians, they are the te technical know-how. They brought the ideas. And says Ghanaians. The Ghanaians, three, three of them are carpenters. They cut the wood, measure it in accurate sizes. And three of them are climbers. They climb the tree, lay the rope, and tie the rope. And the canopy walkway was officially opened in the year 1995. It took them six months for them to complete everything. And every morning, the maintenance team go there to check, make sure that the thing is safe before they will allow anyone to go there. The canopy walkway can carry, carry a weight of eight tons, which is 8,000 kilograms. And since it was official open, no casualty has happened here before, you are free to walk on it. The canopy walkway is hanging, so it shakes, it makes noise, it's normal, it's not going to do anything. The canopy walkway is made up of rope, metal rope, leather, and wood. The canopy walkway rises from 18 feet above the forest floor, that's where we are going to start. You start with 18, you move to 20, uh, 20, then you go to 45, then you descend from 45, 40, 30, then you end at 11. In all, you have seven bridges, eight resting points in it. The purpose of the resting point is after the fair, after the bridge, if you're afraid to take a picture on the bridge, you just stand there, you take a picture, and after that you continue. If you have the long and the short, if you're afraid of heights, you cannot walk on heights. After the first bridge, you take the short one. If you are brave enough to walk on heights, then you take the long one. If you take the long one, you're going to walk about 350 meters. If you take the short one, you're going to walk about 50 meters. Talking about the name of Kakum. Kakum, as of 1931, that this place was officially caseted. This land belonged to trade foreign chiefs. They named this place. 
So they all came together, make a race. Then they find out that a river that it take Aesop from this forest, it's called Kakum. A river that is served communities around. It's called Kakum. And the monkeys that they live in this forest, they cry Krekum, Krekum. Mm. So they all decided and agree on the sound of a monkey and a river that it take Aesop. Then they use that name to name this place. That's the reason why here it's called Kakum <coughs> National Park. And we are going on the canopy. They name, Ka they name canopy walkway. Kakum Forest, we have four layers. The first one is the forest floor. That's where we are standing. The second one is the anastol layer. Like this one is anastol layer. The third one is the canopy layer. So we are going to walk on the canopy layer. On the canopy layer, then you see the merging tree. That's the fourth one. The emergent layer are the layers or are the trees that are able to penetrate through the canopy layer. On the canopy, you see them very well. On the canopy, you see them very well. And you also do hiking. A hiking, a tour that will take you to the forest, show you trees, they are named cultural and medicinal purposes. But we are not doing the hiking. We have a tree called Ebony, Odum, Wawa, Isinya, um, Jakako. If I want, if I'm translating Diakako into English language, it's thinking fish. It's smell. Oh, thinking yeah, fish. Yeah. Yeah. And many more. But because you have been, you are going on the canopy. That's the history about the canopy. So if you have any question, you can ask. No question, then you continue. Is it a monkey? I don't know. Any question, guys? Is that a bird or a monkey? I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I don't have any questions. No, no, bird. 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 You heard that? Is, is that the treehouse up there? No, that's a picture of the treehouse. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a picture of the treehouse. Oh, I was just looking at the... No, 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 no. The, 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 the purpose of the treehouse is that um, it's meant for the individual that they want to see animals, that they want to do research about the trees, animals, and the things that they live in this forest. They spend either the night or a day or there so that they do more research. And also, it meant for individuals, uh, couples. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just come and have honeymoons and fun at their tree house. It's a house hanging on a tree. Okay, good. Yeah. 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 No question? No. Huh? Let's go. You were saying down there. You were saying down there. I was saying right here. No, you said down there. I wasn't saying down there. You said, you said down there. I said down here. You didn't take the tree house down. This is the tree house down. <laughs> 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 What's y'all talking about? You're saying to take the one that had the tree house picture. I did it. You were the one who was like denial. You were like, in denial. You were like, you were in denial. 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 Don't go far. You are my boy. So slow down. So slow down. That's what I'm saying. Respect nature. Slow down. Respect nature, boy. Remember, do not shake any trees because snakes will fall out, okay? You just want to touch that and it's logical. You see those big things? That's where the snakes hide, right up there. Where? I know. That's what we have in the back, in our, in the back of our neighborhood. That's what we have in the back of our neighborhood. And we have also tarantula on us. See, these are where the snakes are. See, like, let me show you an example. The shake, right there. I'm just like, what, why are you going to do all this? Snake, snake, snake! <laughs> he really does. Take I don't want a snake to fall on my head. That's what I do. That's why I just went. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a suspense movie. Dun, dun, dun. You wonder what's going to happen next. Then, kaboom, a giant anaconda swallows someone. There you go, <laughs> giant, <laughs> giant anaconda. So it's how yeah, beautiful yeah, it is, family. Yeah, it's, it's Nature. Walk in front. Hey, come back here. Let him walk in front. Nature. 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 Nature.
And they kind of could get him and try to get him. Watch it, Sam. It's kind of rough over here. I'm looking out on the ground, so I know not to get out. A lot of roots. Stones. Oh, it's not going to get out. Watch the bottom of your foot, too. We don't jump over there where he is. If you step on me. Yes, we do. Yeah, exactly. See, if this was well, I would slide down it. Side step. Yeah, beauty cool. Yeah, you're, you're cool. You're ready. <laughs> yeah. Let's swing on these vines. Ah. Say, they won't be free. Oh, you know. It's what they can name it. See that pink and red. That's it's what they can name. Um, this tree, in its nature way, God made in such a way that it has a tone like this one. It's stinge. Mm -hmm. So, this tree is all strong. So, human being can just push it, it will break. Animal can just do anything with it, it will break. So, God made it, God pro uh, produced this one for this one to protect a tree. So, in its young stage, if I want to chat, uh, touch the tree, the, the thorns will change me. Mm -hmm. So, it protects the tree to grow very well. And when it grows, the thorns will go away. So it is growing now. That's why the thorns is go going away. Dead. Yes. So Ghana here, mm -hmm. use this tree mm -hmm. to produce plywood Flower. and books. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very important tree here. I'll cut it. The name again is, when you know, it botanical name is Cedar Pentendra. That's it, yeah. botanical name. So what's that thing there hanging on? Okay. This one, the name of this one is um, Niana. They are parasites. They depend on tree to survive. Oh, okay. And in, in God wisdom, he made this one for animals that climb trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that when they are climbing a tree, they will use this one like oh, monkey. Okay. When a monkey is climbing a tree, you use this one to climb it. Oh, okay. And this one, human beings can use the same thing to climb this tree. It's very, very strong. Mm -hmm. They are parasites. They depend on tree to survive. Right. Exactly. Look like something Tarzan would use. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. It does. That's why I can run and use your muscles. Okay, you do it. I give up. Yeah, I give up. From that time. I give up. You won. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What's he trying to be? Put there and get in front of you. <laughs> hey. Okay, Romano, you'll be the first person to die, okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't hear a waterfall. I knew it should be going on the swim soon. It's amazing. God made this. Okay. Hey, you hey, see hey. now we're in a different ground from when we were climbing up. Yeah. No rocks. Well, there's rocks more like natural, but you have more of a dirt surface. Oh, okay. And you know what? You're right. It's yeah. Because they got, like you said, because they got like a... Um, Those leaves that bite? A lot of poison. A poisonous thing. Spider. They say it looks so pretty. The prettier they are, the poisonous thing. Exactly. Because I've seen the documentary on it. So I was in the center and I said, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, Bomani! I can't believe everyone is in front of me, Bomani! Mm -hmm. right. You would never know. There you go, we're almost at the canopy walk bridge. Almost there. We're getting there. We're almost halfway. Halfway? <laughs> yeah, we're way past halfway. Oh, this is halfway? Oh, 
the bridge is right there, and once you do the bridge, we just come on down. The name of this tree is Issa. Oh, oh, the snake almost fell on you. There you go. Please, the name of this tree is Issa. Are you listening? Issa. Hello? Issa. The name of this tree is Issa. Issa. Yeah. The history about this tree is that this one is. This one is batteries. This one? It's called batteries. When the tree grow. It's become very big. We Ghanaians, we call it Edukro. That's how we Ghanaians, we call it. The history about this tree is that uh, in the olden days, our forefathers who used to stay in the forest, the battery serve as room for them. When the tree grow, the, when the tree grow, the battery become very big and it's good, develop very uh, nice shape. So they use that place as a room. Right. You find something to cover the top and the front. Then they stay there. They stay this place. Yeah. Mm. I can see that. Like a little house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, in the early days, they stay in the forest, the very dangerous zone to stay. They use sound to communicate. They knock the batteries. When the person knock one, it means something. And the person knock two, it also means something. And this tree contains a lot of calcium contain a lot of calcium. Ghana here they use this one to make a chewing stick. And they use the same tree in its young stage like this one. They use this one to produce a pesto to pound fufu. The more you are pounding the fufu, the more the calcium getting into the fufu. And this tree have male and female. This one is the female one. The difference is that the female has the battery like this, but the male do not have the batteries. So if this tree has been a human being, like female, these batteries will be either the bottles or the breast. This one. This one. So that is more history about this tree. Its name again is Isa. Its botanical name is Celtic McBreedy. That's its botanical name. Celtic Midbridi, that's eight botanical name. Yes. Yes. We are moving on the canopy. We are going on the You can do one and then wait for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm here, put it in my bag. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, that's a very narrow. Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, that was just like a little. Yeah, that's a little. Wow. Oh, the one I want to do is bigger than that. Yeah, 
it was wider. Oh, it was wider? Yeah. Oh, that's very narrow. I know. All right, take your time. And, and come on, y'all. Come on up front so we can do this thing here. But it was wider. Go back to where we were. We had more space. I'll try, to, I'll try to do that one. We're going to do okay. it, though. I didn't no, I mean, I'm saying that's going to be the first one for this one. Yeah. yeah. You can do it. I think I can do this one. Yeah, yeah. I can do that one. But I don't know if I can leave that or not. Yes, family. Okay. So the canopy walkway awaits us. Let's sit down for a minute.